Well guys, I did it. I got a new kayak for 2022. It's a 2022 Hobie Outback in the ivory dune color. In this video, let's talk about two things. One, why did I upgrade to a Hobie Outback from a 2019 Hobie Compass? And two, what minor modifications did I have to make to the Outback to make it an efficient kayak fishing machine? We'll do both of those while we get out on the water and catch our first fish. Let's go see what we can catch. Well, as you know, for the past two and a half years, I've exclusively fished a 2019 Hobie Compass. That compass is now in its new owner's hands, a subscriber of mine named Sean. Sean, congratulations on your new boat. So just why did I get a new kayak? Well, the 2019 version of the Hobie Compass is an excellent boat. It's a value play by Hobie, and I've really enjoyed fishing it over the last two and a half years. One of the downsides to that boat, though, is that it comes with just the regular Mirage drive with the GT fins. Now, that'll get you from A to B just fine, but one of the things you have to look out for is bent rods. When you run into an oyster bed or something that's hidden underneath the surface, those rods had no give in it that the fins were mounted on, and so they would bend, and you would have to take them off, take a rubber mallet and straighten them out and put them back on far too often. Well. The next year after I purchased my kayak, in fact, the next model year, about four months after I purchased my 2019 Hobie Compass, Hobie fixed that problem with one of the best inventions for kayak fishing that I've seen in quite some time. Uh, they got the kick-up fins. Now, I knew that for the past two and a half years that Hobie had these kick-up fins, and I've been contacting Hobie for four or five times at a minimum asking them, how could I upgrade to the kick-up fins? Well, there is no upgrade path, they tell me, yet. Now, the rumor is that that'll be in just a few months, but for two and a half years, there was no upgrade path, and uh, as of this video here, there still is no upgrade path. So to get those kick-up fins, that was the motivation for even beginning to think about getting a new kayak. But why the Hobie Outback? When considering what kayak to get, I actually had two options, at least in my head. The first is to get the 2022 Hobie Compass. I was happy with it. I thought it's a great boat. But what would that have given me? Well, for my money, essentially, I would have been getting just a few minor upgrades. The first and most important, obviously, is the kick-up fin. It does come with the 180 drive, so you have forward and reverse. That would have been a nice upgrade to have. And the seat, they had redesigned the seat. I think it's now made of aluminum or some metal, whereas in the 2019 version of that boat, it was made of plastic. So those would have been some nice upgrades, but for the amount of money, it was hard to just switch into that boat. Furthermore, I would have had to upgrade that boat the same way that I upgraded my original boat. I would have had to get the rectangular hatch or the square hatch, put it in the front, move the round hatch up into the bow area. I would have had to purchase some through-hole kits to mount all my electronics for my cameras and for my fish finder. I could have done all of that and I would have been just as happy, but it wasn't enough for me of an upgrade to do it. So. Option number two was to upgrade to the Hobie Outback. That's what I did, why? Well, think about all the things that you get with the Outback, and I'm gonna walk you through just the few modifications that I made to the boat. That's key. There's only a few modifications that were needed to get this boat to where I could fish it. The stock Hobie Outback comes with these H-rails, they come with the pockets, they come with these nice wells where you can store things. They come with leashes that you can put your tools on. I wanted to make sure that I rigged this so that it was efficient. So now my tools, they don't get put away. They stay right here. Even my fish finder stays on the kayak. All of these things were possible because of the Hobie Outback and the features that it brings. So what upgrades did I make? Well, in the back, you don't get H-rails, you get bungees. I actually installed H-rails in the back. There's a nice kit that does that. And the reason I did that is to get two mounting tracks that I could bridge together. There is a mount that is made by Snipe Air Industries. Tim is the owner over there. He came up with a nice mount that bridges those two. And that'll give my back camera some stability to use the SAI minnow mount back there for the camera. So uh, that's what I've done. 
you get all these pockets to store these tools that now are going to be kept out. I get the rectangular hatch already built in. It's the vertical kind, so it opens up this way. I get a usable and larger front hatch, and I'm really excited about one of the modifications. Not a mod to the kayak itself, but a modification to what I was doing with the compass, and I couldn't have done this in the compass at all. If you notice, there's no ingle cooler in the back. Why is that? Well, it's because I now have a fish cooler bag in the front hatch. It fits in there, there's enough space, It'll hold, I think, a 26 inch fish, no problem, a couple of them, maybe four or five. All of that is right in the front hatch, along with the battery. I've got a battery mount now that's made by Burley Pro that mounts itself to the mast. Now, I could have done that in the compass, but I didn't. What it does for this boat is it lifts the battery up off the bottom of the hull. So if water gets in there, it's not gonna sit in that water. It's lifted up off the hull bottom and I've got the fish bag in there with the ice pack in it. So when I catch a fish, I wanna keep it, I put it inside there, and in this Florida hot sun most of the time, having a fish bag that's covered is a positive thing. I've got a few other things that I put in the boat as well. I'll show you some images of that. But the interesting thing is, it didn't take any additional things to purchase except for the H-rail in the back, the mount in the front, and the fish bag, and I was ready to go. So the Hobie Outback comes equipped. I can see why it's the number one fishing platform for kayak fishermen on the planet today. In addition, you get the Mirage Drive that has kick-up fins. That's what I wanted. It's also the 180 drive, so you can, for the first time, I can go backwards. This is the first time I've gone backwards. But you can kind of see now I'm leaving a trail in the front and steering from behind. So that can come in handy. I don't think that's worth getting a new drive, but the kick up fins, that is the ticket. So have I landed a fish in this boat yet? No. Oh, oh, let me give you the other reason why. The stability on this boat is phenomenal. Now it's nine inches longer and about 17 pounds or so heavier than the compass. It's the same width and the bottom of the boat is designed the way it is in the bow. It's stable. So I no longer need the leash that I was using, the stand-up assist strap that I had made. I just, if I want to, I just stand up in the boat. It's got foot pads built in it, and it is stable as all get out. Now I can definitely stand and fish on the outback without an issue. You get the couple of other things, some cup holders that really work. The 2019 Hobie Compass, the cup holder was useless. Now you get two cup holders, you get two steering, you can steer from either side. All of that is great. Now, there are a few changes that I had to make. I now need a storage cart to load my kayak, but I tell you what, take a look at this video if you haven't seen it before, I just put it out on a storage cart solution that stores my kayak and helps me load it into my truck. If you don't have one of those, I should have had one even for the Compass, but I just manhandled that thing. I never even had wheels. I've got some wheels on this and you can transport it around. So that's what I did. It's a 2022 Hobie Compass in the ivory dune color. And thus far, I'm loving it. But will it land as many fish? <laughs> it's not the boat, it's the fishermen. That said, let's go see what we can catch. Well, the water's clear today, so I'm gonna fish the pearl color of the Z-Man paddle tail, four inch paddle tail on a Texas side jig head. My bait is provided by Discount Tackle. If you'd like to get a discount on your tackle, the link is in the description below. Whoa, had a tug, guys. Had a tug right there. First tap, he came after it. Probably bit it right at the boat. Hobie Eyewear is my exclusive eyewear provider. If you'd like to get a pair of 20% off, the link is in the description below. So what's my recommendation? I've fished both these boats. I've got two and a half years on one of them. I've got one day on the other. I say that they're both great platforms from Hobie. You've got to set your budget. That's really what it boils down to. If you were going to do all these upgrades to a Hobie Compass, I would say just get the Outback. If you don't need all these upgrades and you just want to maybe just put the hatch in, maybe uh, install the Pro Angler clips, and that's it, move the round hatch to the front, uh, then by all means, you can save a little money and go straight for a Hobie Compass and you won't be missing out on too much, too much. But for the stability and all the other features that I just showed you, it's well worth it to me to get the Outback. So I can tell I'm already gonna like this boat. Everything has been perfect today, except for one thing, I haven't put any fish in the boat. My recommendation is the value play, go after the Hobie Compass. If you got a little more cash to spend, then go after the Hobie Outback. 
I'm Kag Fishing Addict. This is YouTube. I'll see you in a few days.